Hmm. Hi guys, Andreas here, and this week we are filming on the lens that I reviewed last week, which is the Rokinon 35mm f1.8. This whole video is going to be filmed on that lens. Uh, if you want to check out that review, I'll link it up on the screen and in the description below. Uh, if you're curious to compare how this video looks versus that one, in that one I was using the Sony 20mm f1.8 G. So, interesting things to note. I'm a little bit further from the camera, obviously, because it's a 35mm, so how does that affect the sound? Let me know. Uh, and also, you know, it's a much less distorted view of my face, or at least it should be. So, does it make me look prettier? Does it? This week's video is not dealing with camera lenses or camera equipment. It's dealing with one of my favorite accessory brands on Amazon.ca or .com, depending where you live, or .uk, or I never know how many Amazons there are. Uh, the brand is called Anchor, and they make tech accessories. So, earbuds, Bluetooth speakers, uh, power banks, uh, chargers. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I wish Anchor pay me, but they didn't. Just so you guys know. And the reason I decided to make this video is because I own a couple of their products and really love them. Uh, I think they're a great value brand, a uh, good bang for your buck. And one of the goals of this channel is to provide you guys with reviews and product suggestions of stuff that I've personally owned and really enjoy and think that are good value. Because if we're going to spend our hard-earned money, might as well be on good stuff, right? So uh, I recently purchased two new products from Anchor, and I will be unboxing those as I give you an overview of the stuff I already own from them as well. So without further ado, let's check that out. Okay, so this is a selection of products that we're gonna be talking about from Anchor. Um, two of these are new, three of these I've had for a long time, um, and they are big reasons why I bought these two. So let's talk about the stuff that I've uh, been working with the last few years. So first we have this guy. Now this is a uh, plug with two USB ports as you can see, but what's interesting about this is that it's also a 5000 milliamp hour battery in here, uh, rechargeable of course. So um, it recharges through micro USB and it's got two USB type A outs. So you can charge up two devices. Uh, it's basically enough to recharge your cell phone entirely. Now, this does not support quick charge, at least this version doesn't, but there is a newer version of this which does. So I'll link that in the description below so you guys can check it out. But what I love about this is that it's pretty small, it's compact, it's lightweight. You can use it as a charger when you're traveling or as a battery for when you're um, out and about. So very handy little product from Anchor there and uh, not too expensive for uh, the value you get. Now, another power bank that I've got is this little guy here. Now this guy is probably my favorite product from Anchor that I've purchased. So this is, they used to call it the Astro E1. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but they do have other similar products. Again, I'll link them in the description below uh, for you to compare, but same deal. It's powered by micro USB and it, it has a USB type A out. This one does support fast charging and it's a 6700 milliamp hour battery in here. So really, really good product. Um, it charges my cell phone. I have a Google Pixel 3 XL. It charges it about at the same speed as the charger that came with the phone, which is really impressive. And it holds about a charge and a half for that cell phone. So uh, really impressed with this battery pack. And as you can see, it's super lightweight, super small. I can take it anywhere, stick it in my pocket, and I've got power anywhere I need. And these guys here are my earbuds of choice. I know everybody is going with the wireless, entirely wireless earbuds now, but I freaking love these things because they are magnetic. So that's a huge benefit right there. Um, so when you have them around your neck, you can actually leave them there and they won't come undone. Uh, the magnets are fairly strong. I mean, strong enough to stay on your neck through, you know, putting on a jacket, things of that nature. So really, really good product here. You've got your little volume controls and song skip buttons over here. And of course the micro USB charging port over here. Now again, these are an older model. There is a newer one available. Uh, so check the links in the description below for more information about that. Fun fact about these, they also come with different size tips. So for those of you who have uh, bigger or smaller ear holes or prefer a snugger or looser fit, you have that flexibility with each, which is great. The other thing that impressed me with these is the level of bass you get out of this, um, especially considering these are, like I said, older models. Really, really impressive performance from these. Now, let's check out all the new stuff that I got. So, 
This guy here is a relatively simple purchase. Now, um, the reason I kept these sealed, by the way, is because I really wanted to focus also on the packaging because Anchor puts quite a bit of care in the stuff you get with their products when you buy them. So, um, especially for a brand that I would consider a budget brand in this space, right? So when you open this up, you get a little warranty card and manual for your products. Now, these are basically just regular plugs, but they're packaged really nicely, I, I, at least I think. I, I'm always really impressed the way Anchor packages their stuff here. So um, the reason I got these, these are 12 watt chargers. Again, I'll link them in the description below. And the reason I got them is twofold. One, because of how small and compact they are, which is great, again, for travel. Now there's no battery packs in these, but that's not the reason I got them. But the main reason I got them is because it has two USB ports. Uh, two type A ports, right? And they both support quick charging. So um, when you have one product plugged in, it's 12 watt through that port. When you have two, it's six watts each. So it's 12 watt total. Now, what's interesting about this and the reason I got it is because when I'm sitting at my desk I, and I wanna charge, let's say this guy and my phone, I can plug both into one plug and it's much more convenient for me that way. So considering that I work from home, Having a couple of these guys, uh, very, very handy. Now the other thing, um, here's the fun fact about this. The battery inside recently died. Now this is three and a half, four years old, so I can't really complain. It, it did its job, it lasted as long as it could, but I was looking for a replacement for this. And I was wondering if I could find something that's wireless as a battery pack, right? And that is what this guy is. So let's open this guy up. And get a little pull tab here flip that around and this is what you get again a little warranty card and user manual over here you get this which actually comes with most of their power banks at least the ones that i've purchased um, which is if i could ever get it open oh man that's a really tight package so in here you will have obviously the charging cable which is USB-C, which is another reason why I wanted to get a newer one to match all the other cables and chargers that I have. Also comes with a nice little carrying bag, which is a big bonus. And this guy is the new, oh man, this one doesn't come out easy either. Here we go. Let's get this open. Ooh. Now this is, as you can see, a wireless charger. Um, and it's got a nice smooth matte finish. It kind of reminds me for those of you who have like a Google Pixel phone, the, the flat black backing of the phones. It, it's that smooth. It might even be a little smoother. I mean, it is plastic it feels like, but oh man, this feels really good in the hand. Really smooth, really nice. Um, so this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery in here. Supports wireless charging at five watts and it's got USB-C input for charging and two USB type A ports so you can charge two devices at once just like this guy over here. The only difference with this is you can't plug it into the wall directly like I could with this but as you can see for a size comparison, let's get these all next to each other here. So this is your size comparison in terms of length and weight, right? Now this is pretty much the size of a phone so if I put my Google Pixel, sorry, it's a little dirty. <laughs> my Google Pixel 3 XL next to it, it gives you an idea of the size comparison of that. And basically all you gotta do is put your phone right on top and it'll start charging it. Now, this guy's probably empty at this point. So as you can see, the idea is that you just hold it behind your phone and it wirelessly charges as you continue using your phone, right? So that's, uh, that's, a pretty big benefit in my mind. It feels really nice in the hand. Uh, you can also obviously use it as a plug-in charger as well. It's relatively thin, so if I can give you a thickness comparison with the Pixel 3 XL with a case on it, it's just a tad thicker and of course a little bit shorter as well. So that gives you a good idea of the size comparison right there. But uh, yeah, remains to be seen if this will be as reliable um, as these two were. 
Uh, I know I just said this one crapped out, but like I said, it's been long enough that I've had it, but this guy's been super reliable. I haven't lost barely any charge. The battery still works like the day I bought it. And this is probably, um, you know, a good three years old at this point. So really, really solid product here. So that's it for the video, guys. Uh, short and sweet this week. Uh, just giving you a brief overview of a brand that I personally enjoy using and purchasing. Uh, I'll probably do a follow-up video on the chargers and the wireless power bank uh, after I've had them for a few weeks to see if the brand still holds up well and if they're still making good products. Because, you know, if they're not, I'm probably going to have to make a different kind of video in a few weeks. Unless, you know, Anchor decides to buy my silence. Anyway, uh, if you guys own any other Anchor products, leave a suggestion down below of what else I should check out from them. And if you like this video, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, of course, I almost forgot the shameless plug. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, mostly related to photography, but you know, we'll throw in some other product reviews here and there. Um, I got a little bit of an idea to review some products using camera gear. Or maybe make it more of a review of how it performs than the gear itself. It makes more sense in my head. See you in the next one.